and my feet on the ground. I told my boss it ain't no limit. Told all my dogs it ain't no limit. Put your head in the game, head in the game, head in the game. Head in the game, head in the game. Hell, two turned up, turned down right now. Two don't make bad to get around right now. Hell, two turned up, turned down right now. Two don't make bad to get around right now. Well, uh, what do you mean? See, strong man, mind giving me a little twist. For me, who could be against me? I guess all the that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. These ghosts, the six fours hit and switch. It's not a conflict of interest. With the business, West Coast is rocking them Timberlands deep up in them trenches. It's no distance. Neither one play games on swinging for them fences. We want the final things that, that's expensive. They, they hit them either close range or at a distance. If God for me, wow. We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. They go play fake. Mahomes. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Got it goes. So much for coming out and throwing as it leads to an early second down and long. Another try after the first down sack. Oh, Mahomes. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be right down just inside the 35. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. In trouble and he's taken down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Gosh. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Under pressure and he'll go down. Back at the 26 yard line. Soon this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes steps away to his left. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on 
first and goal. On second and goal, Mahomes. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. And that is going to be gone. And it moves the lead to 8-0. So what do you make of that? You go on the road, you score the opening drive touchdown, up to go for two, and all of a sudden they're up eight zip. Yeah, this wasn't a decision that they made right here and right now. They made this decision during the week. Hey, if we get the ball and score right away, let's show them that we feel like we're superior. Go for two and really put the pressure on them. Oh, and I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. They're already trailing here in this first quarter. Last thing they needed was to cough the football. Well, they coughed it up, but luckily for them, it went out of bounds. Yeah, still a long way to go, but when you're losing, every possession takes on a little bit more importance, doesn't it? And in that case, they almost made this game a lot more difficult for themselves by turning it over. Fortunate there. But first down, Hurts. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. We always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. But second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Picked off by Ron Thornhill. The 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did. And came through with a big-time pick six. And the conversion good. He's got it. So the lead swells to 16 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken from about the 12. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They're already looking up at a 16-0 deficit. Still plenty of time to go, first quarter. But work to be done as they come up first and 10. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. 16-0, that's the score after one on EA Sports. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. The man in motion is Brown. Hurt sets up to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
when you're struggling on offense, okay, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. Touchdown, Philadelphia! They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies. A big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, that looks, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were in the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now it's Mahomes again. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And it's knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it just before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. Now Mahomes. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Yellow, yellow. And again, it's Mahomes. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Mahomes going to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Throw left side complete to Tony. 
And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down just outside of the five right around the six-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Throwing his hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. And yeah, this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back to back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. 60 bites, 60 bites. 19 tight, 19 tight. 79 Broncos. Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. 19, 19, Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. That he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Yellow. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right way to convert here and maybe start to tap down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting to gain. Throwing is Mahomes on third. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? That's a tough combination to defend. You know Patrick Mahomes has the big arm, and he's got the elusiveness and the speed. So even though you force him from the pocket, he's still dangerous. Bad idea, in my opinion, to force him from the pocket. Do everything possible to hem him in and make him make the throws from right there in the center of it. And look, we know he's got the big arm. You just noted that. But when he gets outside, it puts so much stress on your defense, trying to locate where receivers are, make sure you're covering them. And he can throw the ball the length of the field, so you just tell a receiver, just keep going. He'll find him. And he did there. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. On second and nine, Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances 
playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. To throw on second and ten. Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Down inside the 10 and all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead he sets his guys up in excellent shape for the first and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Second and goal from the six this time. Throwing now is Mahomes. Caught on the slant. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Does a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try and run with McKinnon. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need... And Hurts has intercepted his third of the game. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit if they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. To throw, it's Mahomes. 
And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. fake they'll look to throw and he bats it away and it falls down incomplete they certainly had good starting field position on that drive but couldn't do anything with it after three plays have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position when that drive started they had six points that they were thinking about So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them are the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Another run with Sanders. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 44. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional on this okay, one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. They find some open field here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Mahomes now on 
first down. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football back. It's time to run out in this third quarter of play. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Hurt sets up to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Come on, come on. From the seven, it's second and five. He'll drop to throw, and it's caught. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They have no answer for that right there. Elliott good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping Chile on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, he picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. Because if there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Can't get away, and down he goes. Kaiser Wright, the former safety, gets the sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes, open man right side is Tony. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Working 
Taken from the gun, Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So on fourth down, a big time completion. And the defense, they've got to be shaking their heads right now. Not only shaking their heads, but understand that they committed one of those cardinal sins that they say they can't do at any time. They committed an eye violation. Had their eyes in one place and allowed the deep ball behind them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play, and he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. to throw once more and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. The slot man in motion right. Mahomes to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Two to go. We get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Taken in at the 22. too far from breaking that officially given 15 and it will be Eagles football first and 10 already at the line this Philly offense set to go the offense coming back out here plenty of energy ready to roll looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown Charles their last time out and that's a great feeling to have on the sideline partner knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense and since they came off the field I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Dallas Goddard, 62 yards. And the Eagles use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. 
So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. <laughs> a little salt, a little pepper. Yeah, it goes hey, down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments, and I can't believe I just brought that up because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee Volunteers, and that was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. The last series for a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Mahomes. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Thanks to Frank Clark, that play was doomed from the start. What a job defensively. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. Second down, back to Sanders. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his hurts. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer, at least, if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. The kick by Elliott is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where... Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Vontae Maddox. 
Well, you can see what they were trying to do, just send those guys out there to make a play, but that is a costly interception. Yeah, that's kind of like the backyard. Everybody go deep, and let's see if we can find some. Good game, bro. Four verticals in the route. Any other time in the game, I love the call, but here, you're not going to hold safety. He's not going to. looks because they know what the situation is ends up throwing the interception so he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up and he's going to want to keep that game ball he was sensational Excellent come from behind.